Hello everyone. Today I got a fun project for us. Um, actually for myself. Uh, I'm going to rewrap an 18650 cell. I've got the wrap here. I bought this on eBay. I think it's also available on Amazon. I'll put both links uh, to that in the video description. And I've already done one wrap with the uh, EFEST 3000 uh, milliamp hour cell that I reviewed earlier on that I pulled the wrap off of. Uh, and Here's the original wrap, and here's the, the cell rewrapped. And I am amazed at how well this turned out. I'm really, really happy with the results. And I'm going to show you how to get the same results. First, I'm going to show you how nice this turned out for me. This is the EFEST IMR18650, the 3000 milliamp hour cell that I uh, videoed uh, earlier uh, this year. And I ripped the, uh, the shrink wrap or the uh, wrap off of it and uh, basically just to see what was underneath and it didn't disclose anything, it's a bare cell. But here's the same cell wrapped with the uh, tubing I purchased from Amazon. I thought I bought it from eBay, but I bought it from Amazon. And I got 33 feet of it or 10 meters for um, $3.86 I believe. So I think it was well, well worth the purchase. Anyways, take a look at how nice that looks. Okay, so we'll just go around it. See what a great job it did it just on the outside of it. And I look at the tops. I mean, I actually think I'm going to rewrap the uh, uh, EFEST, this EFEST uh, with the blue uh, tubing again because it just looks so much nicer. It looks great. Uh, but I think I'll hold off and wait for that one to wear off uh, or start ripping. But uh, there's the uh, top part of it. Again, really nice wrap. And there's the bottom. I mean, it just looks totally professional. So I'll show you how to how I achieved this result uh, using the shrink tubing that I have, and everything will be in the video description below. Uh, you know that you need to purchase, or you may need to purchase to do this job exactly like I did. And really, you don't need a lot. You just need tubing, and uh, uh, you need the tubing and a, pair, a good pair of scissors and maybe a, a ruler. Uh, but again, just beautiful. I can't believe how nice that turned out. So here we have an old bare cell that I got from a laptop uh, battery pack. It's okay, it's about 1700 milliamp hours. Uh, so it is somewhat degraded and I'm not really sure what the capacity would have been originally, but uh, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm just using it as a uh, test for the tubing. So I'm just gonna rip the, uh, uh, the actual shrink wrap off of this and then we're gonna apply the shrink wrap onto this cell uh, for demonstration. There we have the bare cell. Uh, one thing did fly off of it, and that is the insulating cap. I'll show you that. That's this little, uh, looks like mylar plastic ring, and it was right on top here like so, protecting the uh, positive uh, terminal from the negative uh, edge of the battery. This, this is required. If you don't have one of these, get these. You can buy them online, or you can actually just cut one out yourself if you wish to. Um, but uh, this goes on top uh, on the positive terminal. It needs to be there when you're shrink wrapping. And there's a bare cell, and that's what we're going to wrap. Now, I could go and give you a length of tubing to cut, but different cells are different lengths, uh, especially if they have protection on them. And this one here it does not have protection on it. This one here doesn't have protection either. But uh, this is the EFES 3000 that I rewrapped, and it actually is slightly longer than this laptop. Um, cell was it is actually about a millimeter uh, you know longer than this uh, bare cell so it does make a difference uh, you know basically what I used on this cell was a 70 millimeter uh, in length uh, piece of tubing but I think it's best just to uh, cut out uh, the piece uh, in excess of the battery and I'll show you what I mean here in a second uh, basically because if you just go with a me the measurement of, you know, you want um, basically on the bottom, you want about a two millimeter overhang and on the top, you want a 3.75 millimeter overhang to achieve this result. So it doesn't matter what size your cell is, as long as you cut a piece of tubing that is the length of the cell plus uh, 5.75 millimeters uh, in length, then you should be able to achieve the same result that I got here. So there's the length of the cell, it's 64 uh, 
millimeters and uh, 0.71 so 64.71 and the reason I'm, I'm being accurate because I can be uh, you know you could just use a ruler and you'd probably get about 65 uh, millimeters of this which would probably be just fine now the overhang I need on the bottom would be two millimeters and on the top on the positive terminal I need 3.75 millimeters now that may vary with your tubing but with the tubing that I'm sourcing that's going to be the case it's, it's going to be I know it's going to give me a good result because I've already tested this on the uh, on this cell so um, we've got 64.70 we need to add uh, 5.75 millimeters to that to get the resultant uh, or the exact length of tubing we need to get this done with so here's the total length that I require to make the uh, to cut the tubing uh, for the correct length for this cell which is 70.46 millimeters I will go imperial for you guys here it's just one button it's 2.774 inches and uh, or 2 and 9 99 uh, of an inch so again this will vary because the length of your cells aren't going to be the same as mine so just add the 5.75 to it and uh, you know the 5.75 millimeters to the total length of the cell and you'll get the right number length of tubing so let's cut that out and see what we get so there's our shrink tubing and again I will, I will put a link to this stuff in the video description below so you can buy the same stuff I used and uh, again the more accurate you are with this the better um, the result you're going to get so uh, I'm just going to put my caliper down uh, press it down because it does curl it was uh, shipped in a, in a uh, you know basically wrapped up in a circle so it'll t have a tendency to raise like it is there and that'll change the length again so I'm just going to mark it out with a black marker uh, on the very top here and on the very sorry on the on the near the tip here and uh, of course on the top as well because the straighter and the nicer you cut this the better result you're going to get you want as smooth and straight a cut as you can get all right I've got it measured out nicely and, and uh, marked with a black marker um, don't worry about the black marker you can wipe that off with alcohol it's not a problem and I'm gonna do that after I cut it just to make it nice and clean so next I'm gonna use the scissors do a nice straight cut across that uh, line and uh, we'll put it on the uh, we'll put the cell inside the actual shrink wrap and then shrink wrap it a little bit of alcohol and a, and a cloth and got all that marker uh, off the uh, actual heat shrink uh, tubing so uh, very happy about that I, I want it to be a nice clean job and at this point we just uh, separate it uh, open it up and then we're going to slide the cell inside like so and try not to crease it uh, you know keep it nice and uh, as smooth as possible I'm going to measure out the bottom uh, at two millimeters and that, that's the negative side and the positive side is going to be 3.75 so uh, after we're done that uh, after I measured it and got it perfect then we're going to heat shrink it I've got something heavy and metallic here to keep it from rolling when I'm heating it as it's going to get hot. I'm using a 100, uh, sorry, 1875 watt uh, hair dryer at the high setting so it gets quite warm. I've got it uh, uh, placed inside perfectly. I've got two millimeters on the bottom, 3.75 on the top and uh, we're ready to start uh, uh, you know, heat shrinking this uh, cell. I'm going to start on the uh, bottom end or the negative uh, side of the uh, term, oh, sorry, of the battery, because I want to seal it there before I get to the top, which I, I will preliminarily start to heat shrink, and then I'm going to put the insulator in there uh, before it fully closes. So I'll, I'll stop and show you that procedure as well. But uh, for now, we're going to start in the middle and towards the end to get the uh, the uh, uh, negative side sealed. You can see it's beginning it's all it's to uh, seal on the end and the reason I'm doing the end first is to keep the uh, jacket from sliding when it starts heat shrinking on the top so from now from here I'm gonna uh, work my way to the top and then uh, put the insulator the white washer basically at the top That's a little too much there. Maybe I can sneak it underneath. Let's see if we can do it. Yes, I can. I think I can. There we go. Yep, 
goes underneath nicely. That's uh, you don't want to go quite that far, but again, I snuck it in underneath there, and now we're going to heat shrink the rest of that insulator on top. There's the finished product. Look at that cell. They look beautiful. Nice tight seal on the bottom. And nice seal on the top. And you see how, you know, you want to get that as accurate as possible and as nicely cut as possible so you get that nice, nice result. Basically a professional wrap at this point. So there we go. There's the cell fully wrapped, very nicely uh, shaped. It's got a great feel to it. It basically feels like a brand new cell at this point. So that's how you heat shrink and uh, wrap an 18650 cell with the, heat, the, the blue heat shrink uh, tubing. Again, I'll put the uh, uh, links to this stuff in the video description below so you can buy it yourself. I bought it on Amazon. I think it was $3.86 for the 30 foot roll, 33 foot roll, 10 meter roll. So definitely worth it. Look at the result. That thing's just beautiful. Well, that's it for my video, and uh, I'm really imp as impressed uh, with the project as I am with this one. Now, I'm really, really happy with the result of this wrapping uh, project. Uh, the cells look, like I said, brand new, and I, I couldn't be happier with the result. So, uh, I recommend getting this stuff. I'm definitely going to wrap a bunch more of my cells, uh, as I have... 30 feet of this stuff left over so far so uh, for three dollars and I think 86 cents on Amazon and uh, see the video description below for the links to this stuff uh, well worth it um, yeah and like I said I couldn't be happier okay so that's it for my video if you like this video and it helped you out in a way uh, do me a favor click on the like button here in the bottom right hand corner and give me a thumbs up it helps my channel it helps my videos and it helps me and I appreciate that greatly now somewhere on the screen here you should also see a picture of me that's a subscription link if you click on that it'll prompt you to subscribe to my channel uh, if you choose to have notifications on it's a little bell I believe next to it uh, it will notify you when I put a new video up and then you can watch it at your leisure now you know as always I want to thank you all for watching and for your time